Hi, I'm Daryl. Welcome back to my shop. And right now, I'm working on cleaning up and organizing the shop, which is something that I guess we're always working on. It's always a work in progress. On to the task at hand. I have right here in front of me a pile of pneumatic nailers. In an effort to organize the shop and streamline my processes, I need to find, I need to create a home for all my nail guns and uh, maybe some storage for, uh, you know, the nails and staples and things that go along with these, uh, you know, that I can hang on the wall near my compressor. So I think I came up with a, a design that's going to work out pretty good. And I'm going to use these materials that I have right here. Uh, I got some half inch plywood and some uh, quarter inch plywood here. I'm not really working from a plan, so I have a pretty good idea uh, of what I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump right in. So let's talk about some of the basic uh, requirements of this uh, rack for my pneumatic nailers. All right. First of all, I want to look at the biggest one I got, which is this boss stitch unit here. And I did already do the measurements, but I'm figuring I'm going to need about three inches, roughly about three inches of space uh, width wise to accommodate this particular gun here. And since it's bigger than all the others, then I know that that's going to work. All right. And pretty much everything, all the, this dimension from here to here is the same on pretty much all of them, uh, right around nine inches. So I'm figuring I'm going to make the total depth about 11 inches because the space I'm going to put it on the wall, I have about 11 inches available to me. Um, another thing we want to do is on the bottom of the unit, I'm going to leave a space so that when you put these in, this piece right here can uh, have a place for the, the nose to go so the guns will actually sit on this edge right here. Um, I'm going to use the quarter inch plywood for dividers and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully this is going to turn out to be a situation where it'll be easy to reach in and grab the guns, but when I put them away, they'll be able to be stored relatively sturdy in this position here. Get to it. So I don't really know exactly how wide this unit has to be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having six, I'm going to have six bays when I complete this project. So I'm going to take a quick measurement and figure out what the halfway point of this board is going to be. And that's going to be my middle divider. And then I'm going to move it out three inches and then I'll cut that uh, dado in the board. Um, I'm going to cut all these dados from both in both directions to make sure that it's uh, perfectly centered. And I'll do it like that and I'll build it from the inside out. And when I get, when I have six slots, then I'm done. Then I'll just trim the board down uh, to accommodate that. cut a rabbit on the back edge to receive our uh, back piece and bottom piece that's going to hold the guns as well as the bottom piece uh, that's going to house the, the data that's going to house the uh, bottom shelf. So now the only thing we need our side assemblies here is we need a data to house the bottom shelf that's going to support the bottom of the guns. So next thing we have to do is decide on exactly uh, what shape, exactly what shape our dividers are going to take so that we can mirror that same shape on the sides here, you know, to make sure that you can reach in and pull the guns out uh, without any obstructions. So uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and rip this down into uh, five inch strips because I'm going to need six of them. And they're all, they're going to be about nine and a half inches long. So yeah, we're good here. Okay. 
just in case you don't know why I applied this block here, it's because for this operation, you don't want to ever cut anything on your table saw uh, and capture it between the blade, between the blade and the fence, unless you have something behind it to guide it, such as a sacrificial fence or something like that. So basically what I did is I measured the distance from this face to the blade to be seven and three quarters of an inch, which is the, which is the dimension I needed. And basically what will happen is I will slide my pieces up against, tied up against my, uh, my block here. And then when I pass it through the blade, you'll have, I'll have three quarters of an inch of space over here to keep it from pinching and being thrown back at me. To determine the shape that we need to see on these divider pieces here, I'm going to take a quick measurement uh, from this from the front of the from the front of the body of the gun here uh, back to the trigger area is roughly about three and a half inches. So we'll start off with that measurement. And we'll start at the front here and we'll go, we'll come back three and a half inches. Go ahead and make a mark down, and then for in the case of this gun, the bottom portion is two, roughly two and a half inches. So I'm thinking two inches will do uh, to accommodate the shorter cartridge areas of some of the other guns. So we'll come down to two inches uh, for the end. And again, I'll go ahead and take our square and make a mark. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some curves uh, to this uh, profile before I cut them out. And I just so happen to have a set of uh, French curves, uh, which are handy drawing tools. You can find them in your art supply store. So you can take and use uh, any of the curves that are located uh, on or around this, these templates here to create the curves, uh, to create a pleasing curve for your design. So we're going to move this in here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this on the bandsaw. Okay, so on second thought, instead of uh, double stick taping it, I decided to go ahead and drive two brads. Uh, it did mar up this one piece a little bit, but I really only need five anyway, so, you know, that one's okay. I'm just cutting it, you know, just in case. So. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll cut these out and then I'll just pull the nail out when I'm done. Alright, sorry about that, but my GoPro ran out of power and I seem to be having some sort of issue with uh, the charging of the battery. So, uh, I'm going to have to finish this up shooting on my iPhone. I hope that, uh, I hope that the uh, video quality is going to be... Uh, equivalent and I hope that you can see because I really can't frame my shots uh, the way I can with the uh, GoPro so uh, anyway moving on I uh, went ahead and uh, I was able to go ahead and uh, sand all these together uh, as a bunch uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it because well it's shop furniture I would love to have sh awesome looking shop furniture but you know the reality of the thing is uh, I'm really looking more for functionality uh, and less for aesthetic. So um, I did I did go ahead and sand it because I don't want to end up having you know getting splinters and things when uh, I pull the guns out of the out of the holder. But anyway, uh, they're all it's all sanded now. So I can go ahead and I can separate them. So all I gotta do is do a little quick twist. 
and pull it off of that nail. going to go ahead and figure out how wide to cut this and then we're going to go ahead and cut off the uh, excess and also cut a piece from the other piece of uh, half inch ply over here to form the bottom uh, for the to form the back and the bottom for the uh, compartment to hold the uh, nails and supplies and whatnot so uh, the way we're going to figure this out is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at uh, just how deep this dado is. I didn't make it any specific depth. I just figured I'd, you know, build to the project. Uh, it turns out it's roughly about a quarter of an inch. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna trim. We're gonna trim trim these two pieces down to three quarter, three and a quarter inch from this edge right here. This isn't a measurement that has to be terribly accurate. Uh, if you end up leaving these two compartments on the ends a little bit wider, it really won't hurt anything. So uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, take care of that. 